Hey guys, Julia here. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make money online with a Shopify marketplace. First, we're gonna cover what this is and how it works, and then I'm gonna show you how to get started. So if you are a complete beginner, stick around, we'll keep things easy. The best part about this business model is that you don't need to create any products yourself, you don't need to invest or hold inventory, and you can earn a commission on every sale. And no, this is not drop shipping, but it can be used in combination with it. It's super scalable, you can sell all kinds of different products, whether it's handmade goods, digital products, or trending items. This has got to be one of the smartest ways to start a business in 2025, so we're going to walk through the setup process step by step. So first of all, what is a Shopify marketplace? This is basically a Shopify store that lets all kinds of different vendors sell their products through your store. So think of it like your own version of Etsy or Amazon, but fully under your brand on Shopify. So you are the marketplace and other vendors can sell their products. So instead of managing your own inventory or paying a supplier to drop ship, you're giving other sellers a space to list and sell. And every time they sell, you get a commission from their sales. So that's how you make money. You also have full control over which vendors and what products you feature. So you can keep your marketplace focused on a specific theme or niche. Almost like you are a supermarket and you get to choose what brands you put on the shelf. The supermarket is your Shopify store and the brands on the shelf are the vendors. So there's no need to create or manufacture your own products, no need to manage fulfillment or shipping. You can grow by adding more vendors and it works for all kinds of product types, physical products, digital products, rentals, and even for services and appointment-based businesses. So it's a flexible, low spend model with a lot of room to grow. Now let's talk about how to actually create your marketplace. First, you're gonna need a platform where you can create the marketplace, and you will also need a platform from which you can easily onboard your vendors and automate the process. For creating the store, or in other words, your marketplace, we're gonna be using Shopify. This is a very easy to use e-commerce platform and it works very well for beginners and experts. Inside Shopify, we are going to design the store, organize the catalog, manage discounts, and receive all customer payments. So to sign up for Shopify, I'm gonna leave the best current deal for getting started linked in the description. Right now it's a three day free trial and then $1 for your first three months. So first, find the Shopify link down below and follow the prompts to create your account. Once you're inside, you're gonna need to add vendors to your store. Now, technically you could try building a marketplace manually, but that would require a lot of juggling with spreadsheets, emailing vendors one by one, manually uploading every single product and tracking all the commissions yourself. It's doable, but it's also a crazy amount of work. So instead, we're gonna use an app called ShipTurtle that makes the whole thing super easy. I'm gonna leave it linked below as well. So with this app, you can basically set up a multi-vendor marketplace without anything complicated. It has a full vendor onboarding dashboard, so you can invite sellers to join your store and manage their own products and orders. So when a customer places an order, ShipTurtle is going to automatically forward that order to the right vendor, and they are going to handle the fulfillment, not you. So you are the marketplace, and the vendors are taking care of everything else. Now the ShipTurtle system is also going to track your commissions, so it's going to calculate everything for you, and you're going to earn a percentage on every sale. What's also great is that it supports more than just physical product sales. So you can also run a marketplace for rentals like camera gear, dresses or decor, online auctions, or even service-based businesses and appointment bookings. So it also works for businesses like coaching, consultations, or other kinds of services. ShipTurtle's users have generated millions in sales. They do have a 4.9 star rating on the Shopify app store, which I do like to see. So they're doing a lot of things right. And a nice plus is that they also have a really responsive support team. So if you ever get stuck, they're gonna be there to help. And of course, I'm also here to help in the comments. Now let's go ahead and get this up and running. Step number one, inside Shopify, we're first going to set up a store design. So first we have to choose a theme. Go to online store, scroll down, and visit the theme store. Here you can browse through all of Shopify's ready-made templates for you to design your store. So to create a marketplace, you want to choose a theme that supports large product catalogs and multiple vendors. ShipTurtle actually already has some recommendations on what themes to use, so you can take a look at these and see which one fits your vision best. You don't necessarily have to use this, but these are great recommendations. I'm gonna leave this linked below. Once you've chosen your theme, the next step is to install the ShipTurtle app into Shopify. That's how we're going to sync both platforms and automate everything. So from your Shopify dashboard, go to the App Store, and search for ship turtle. I'm also gonna leave this linked below so you can just land on it directly. 
Click on install. And ShipTurtle is now going to be integrated with your Shopify store. Now inside ShipTurtle, we have to configure our vendor dashboards. So each vendor is going to receive a dedicated dashboards where they can manage their products, their orders, and inventory. So for example, when you get a sale from vendor John, John is going to have his own dashboards to fulfill everything. This is important because you will likely have products from many different vendors. So this way things stay organized and each vendor has their own dashboards. They can log in independently, so they will have control over their own listings without accessing your main admin panel. All right, so once you have your vendor selected, you'll want to design your storefront so that it looks like a professional marketplace. So you want to add your marketplace logo and create an engaging layout for your customers to browse. If you haven't created your logo yet, I'll leave some recommendations for that down below. And once you have some products added to your store, you're also going to need to create collections, which is how we're going to organize things here in the theme editor and give customers a structure to browse. I'll also leave a tutorial for that below. Now, when you're designing your theme, you want to add sections like featured collections to highlight certain groups of products or possibly organize products by vendors. If you need more help with store design, I'll leave this full Shopify design tutorial linked below so you can follow along after this video. We'll take the full process step by step so you can just follow along and have a professional looking store. But first, let me show you how to actually set up your marketplace payment settings as that's going to be a little bit different than on a regular store. So make sure to watch this part first. All right, so here's how you are going to get paid and how your vendors are going to get paid as well. So here's how it works with a ShipTurtle marketplace. When a customer places an order, that payment goes directly to you through your Shopify store. So you're the one who's going to receive it. Then ShipTurtle will automatically split that order into sub orders based on the vendors involved. So if the order includes, let's say three different vendors, then ShipTurtle, it's going to automatically create three sub orders for each vendor. Next, the vendor is going to be notified and fulfill the order. Once that's completed, you can choose how you want to handle payouts. And you have a few different options you can choose from. You can go with manual payouts, where you just pay vendors their share yourself through either pay PayPal or a bank transfer, or you can use automated payouts where ShipTurtle automates this process based on your chosen schedule. So they will calculate the vendor's share for you based on the commission structure you set. So for example, if you're taking 20% of each sale, it's going to handle all of that math for you behind the scenes. If you want to, you can also customize a fixed commission structure based on category, product, or by vendor on a global level. So to summarize the payment structure, your customer pays you, vendors get notified and fulfill the order, Orders, ShipTurtle tracks everything and calculates commissions. Then either you or ShipTurtle pays the vendors their share and you keep the commission. So just to clarify it, ShipTurtle is not going to handle the payments directly, but it works as a backend system that manages the vendors, splits the orders, calculates the commissions and keep things organized. And this is one of the reasons why this marketplace model is so scalable, because once it's set up, the system is going to run smoothly even as you bring on more vendors. All right, once your marketplace is built, your vendors are set up and you've designed your website, it's time to launch the store. So whenever you're ready, you can click on remove password up here and your store will be made public. And quick reminder, if you need extra help designing your Shopify websites and understanding how the theme editor works, I'm going to leave this other video links below and it's going to show you everything. Now to get sales, your main job is to drive traffic to your store. And I also have another tutorial for that on how to get your first sale on Shopify. It will walk you through a few different options. You'll also want to monitor your performance as you grow. So inside your ShipTurtle dashboards, over here on the analytics, you can track your vendor performance and all of your sales. And if you go over here and click on vendors, then over here next to individual vendors, click on this eye icon. You can look at detailed statistics on each vendor sales, returns, earnings, etc. And inside Shopify, over here, you also have an analytics section. Here you can track how many visits your store is getting and lots of useful data to help you optimize. All right, you are now ready to make money online with a Shopify marketplace. Quick reminder, I'm gonna leave the best current seal for getting started with Shopify linked in the description. You'll also find ShipTurtle linked below. 
Before you go, I'm also excited to tell you that I've launched a complete Shopify optimization course so you can launch the right way and ensure you're on the way to success. I have packed it with so much value and just really easy step-by-step -step mini episodes that you can follow to completely optimize your store and take it to a very, very professional level. We're going over lots of different powerful strategies like creating offers, and I'm really guiding you step-by-step -step through it so you really understand all of the concepts and also how to implement them on Shopify. So this is going to be really, really useful. I'm also going over a lot of common beginner mistakes and just showing you tons of strategies to help you optimize your store for its highest chance of success. We also have an exclusive community that you can join where you get to post things and ask questions, engage with others, and even receive one-on-one -on -one guidance from me and my team. So if you want to sign up, I'm going to leave the links here below the video as well. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. It'll be super, super appreciated. And if you have any questions at all, feel free to leave them down in the comments and I'll do my best to help you out. Thank you so much much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.